What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. Today's video is going to be over my personal snorkels that I use on a day in, day out basis. Now I'm not going to show you every snorkel that I have because to be honest, I've kind of lost count. Over the years, the more you dive, you're going to collect dive gear that you probably will never use and you just throw it in a bucket and have a ton of them. So I truly have a ton of snorkels laying around that I don't even touch, I hadn't even used them in years but there are two that i use on a day in day out basis and i want to take a few minutes here to go over each one and why i choose to use it the first one i'm going to show you is my teaching snorkel this is the one that i use anytime i'm with students i'm teaching in open water all the way up to the instructor level courses and standard says i must have a snorkel with me so this is the one i go with now let me give you a little industry secret here standard says you got to have a snorkel it doesn't say you got to have it on your mask. So mine's a little roll-up snorkel, goes in my pocket, clips to a D-ring, anything like that. Now I want to give a quick shout out to Mares and SSI, and if you watch my fin video, you saw some personalized fins that they sent me. They also sent me uh, a personalized snorkel here. It says uh, SSI Dive Pro and Mars Dealer on it. Uh, but I really like this one because, like I said, I can clip the lanyard off to a D-ring or throw it in the pocket, and when I need my snorkel, I simply just pull on it, it pops out, and pops up into place. Now, this is a very lightweight rubber. It's very small and compact. Uh, there's not a lot of volume to the snorkel itself, so it's easy to clear. It's not a lot of water I have to clear out. But, like I said, in a teaching scenario where I have to have a snorkel, this is the one I go with because it's lightweight, it's foldable, it collapses, it rolls up, goes in a pocket, it's out of sight, out of mind, but if I ever need it, bam, there it is. So that's the one I teach with. The snorkel that I use if I'm just snorkeling, it's a little bit different though. It's the uh, Ergo Dry by Marez. It's a dry top snorkel. Um, and this is a very, very bulky and huge snorkel, so I don't use it a lot when I teach. I don't use it when I'm diving. First of all, to be honest, I never use a snorkel when I'm diving because underwater, these are absolutely pointless. These are only good when you're at the surface. So if I'm underwater, which I'm a diver, that's what I do. I go underwater. I hardly ever take this one with me, but if I'm in a snorkeling situation, maybe I'm swimming around with the manatees or maybe I'm just playing in the pool or doing some free diving or whatnot, this is the snorkel of my choice. Um, I like simplicity, and with the purge on the bottom and the dry top, it's very simple to clear this snorkel, trust me. Another cool feature I like about it is the Comfort Bite mouthpiece it's got on it. So when it's in my mouth, my teeth, my teeth will actually latch in, and I don't have to sit here and bite on that thing because it's going to stay in my mouth. So I really like that for this purpose. But guys, that's the Ergo Dry dry top snorkel by Marez, and like I said, I primarily use this simply if I'm snorkeling. I don't hardly ever take this when I dive. Uh, I do want to show you a cool little feature to a snorkel. If you wear your snorkel up here on the side of your mask, that's not really the best place to wear it because watch what happens as I go to lay down in the water column, watch what happens to the snorkel. It turns my snorkel sideways, and it's going to be a lot easier for water to get in if you didn't have a dry top snorkel or a splash guard type. But if you take that snorkel, instead of wearing it here on the side, simply slide it back on the mast strap just behind your ear. So now that when you lean forward in the water column, watch the angle of the snorkel. It keeps it in that inverted position, so you're less likely to get any water in if you don't have a splash top or a dry top or anything like that. But guys, that's my two different snorkel choices. I like to fold up to teach with and, and to dive in general because most time it either stays in my pocket, stays clipped to a D-ring or something like that. And I really like the dry top if I'm actually snorkeling or free diving because it keeps all the water out of my snorkel. But guys, if you've got any questions on either one of these or any questions on any of the other gear I've showed you in the past, simply put it down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.